when robberies do happen, you know, it's frequent enough. And when they do happen, the majority of the time is top rank. For your winner by split decision. And the new WBC. Bro, look at this. This robbery right here. Oh, Rob's going to say so. Oshiki Foster, top rank. Two weeks ago, we just saw another robbery with Abraham Nova and Andres Cortez. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Andres Savage Cortez. What the fuck? Not the way we saw it. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Abraham Nova won that fight. Guess who it was again? Top rank, top rank, top rank. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God, to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. Doctors in the house. Check this out, man. So today, you know, last night, right? Last night, last night, we had a lot of boxing, a lot of boxing, man, particularly in top rank. We're going to focus on top rank. Of course, we had um, Golden Boy with Giovanni Cabrera and William Zapata, and we also had uh, some heavyweights in England. You know what I'm talking about? Johnny Fisher and Alan Babbitt. We're going to focus on the top rank. And one fight specifically, you know, which was the Oshiki Foster versus... My guy Robson Casesa, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's it's just it's just crazy, man. It's it's, it's just crazy how the, how this stuff always goes down, man. And you know, it was a robbery. First of all, I want I want I want to preface this statement though with um, there's three overused terms in boxing. You know, it's casual, <laughs> ducking, and robbery. Well, that's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? I did. You know, if someone if someone disagrees with you, if I have uh, Terrence Crawford as number one, and you have Usyk as number two, or now you're anyway as number one, and, and 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 Terrence Crawford is number two, then somebody then, then somebody's gonna say you're a casual. You know what I'm saying? When it's really interchangeable. You know, so that's an overused term right there. Then um then ducking. If somebody does a fight who you want them to fight, you don't care about the contractual negotiations. You don't care about the stipulations of, of different promotional companies or the timing or whatever. You just say, oh, that, that person's ducking them. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> and then lastly, and most importantly, you know, not most importantly, but, you know, most uh, most relevant to this video is um, robbery. You know, just because someone loses, even if it's a close fight with multiple swing rounds and someone that you root for loses, you're going to say it's a robbery. So it's not always effective. However, that point is absolutely applicable to Oshiki Foster versus Robson Kasei Sal, man. That was a robbery, man. I, I, I don't know what else to call it, man. You know, I scored the fight. You know, I'm going to be honest. The first time I had the first uh, when the fight was live, I only got to the fifth round and I had to pause it because I went to go watch William Zapata versus Giovanni Cabrera because that's when it started. So after the fifth round, I had it four rounds to Oshiki, uh, four rounds to one in favor of Oshiki Foster. Now, after the William Cabrera and Giovanni, I mean, sorry, William Cabrera, after the Giovanni Cabrera and William Zapata fight, I went back and continued the Oshiki Foster and, and, um, Robson Kaseisa fight where it left off, you know what I'm saying? And I literally gave, I had, I gave, um, Robson Kaseisa the, the second round and the fourth round. The rest, all the way through 12 was for Oshiki Foster. You know what I'm saying? He boxed beautifully. Uh, Robson Kaseisa was not effective with his punches at all. Uh, uh, a shock made him miss a lot, you know, and it's just crazy because through all that, man, this man Oshiki Foster is a champion. And he lost his belt like that in that fashion, man. That is just heartbreaking, man. Look, <laughs> look at this, man. What you see there was a split decision victory. He, you, look, look at his face. He already knew. He already knew the jig was up. Split decision. And the new. And look at his face, man. It, <laughs> it's not funny because it's really sad for you to lose like that, man. They work so hard for you to lose and get robbed. You know what I'm saying? Robbed with no gun. You know what I'm saying? Bare face, broad daylight, no gun, just just took your stuff, man. That, that, that's crazy. You know what's crazy? What's even crazier is that the common theme, no, the common denominator, it's usually with top rank. We got to stop letting these fools get away with this, man, unnoticed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying rob robberies. I think people exaggerate how often robberies happen, right, in boxing. They do happen often. Even if it's one, one is too many because robbery shouldn't really occur. You know what I'm saying? But... I think that um, the when robberies do happen, you know, it's frequent enough. And when they do happen, the majority of the time is top rank. Bro, look at this. This robbery right here. Oh, uh, Robson Kaseisa, uh, Oshiki Foster, top rank. Two weeks ago, we just saw another robbery with Abraham Nova and Andres Cortez. Abraham Nova won that fight. Guess who it was again? Top rank. You see what I'm saying? And then look, even with... Um, this was uh, well, about a month ago now. Jack Catterall versus Josh Taylor, part two. The first one, 
Josh Taylor's on top rank. I don't, I'm not going to say it's a robbery because, again, I thought it was a close fight that could wait either way. I personally had Jack Catterall win in the first one, but it was a close fight that could wait either way, so I'm not, I'm not too mad about that. But some people call that a robbery. But then the second one, Bob Arum, old senile geriatric behind, walked into the ring on the second one and was complaining that Josh Taylor won. What's you now? Hey, you give, oh, Bob wants to I saw the fight like everybody else. Those scorecards were a disgrace. Jack Catterall clearly beat him. Beat the heck out of him. And not only did he beat the heck out of him, he, um, <laughs> Bob Aaron went in there to, 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 to protest. And then check this out right here. The man was asleep. What, the what do you make of Bob Aaron's comments in there? Bob, Bob Aaron, my head was off asleep. Well, I was asleep during some of that, so I, I don't, I don't really take what Bob Aaron said about that fight with full seriousness. He woke up old, mad, and angry and irate, and he didn't even watch the entire fight. He just hopped in the ring, complained, and talked about Josh Taylor was robbed, and that's why he don't want to bring other fighters to England, you know, <laughs> to fight because they're going to get robbed in England. Bro, he, he woke up mad, complaining that his fighter got robbed, and he didn't even watch the fight. And Jack Catterall whooped him. You know, so this is a common theme with, 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 with I could name other options, but I want to be here all day, man. So, uh, yeah, shame on top rank, man. They robbed this man again. Big salute to uh, McNair. He was the judge that had the right person winning, even though I believe he had his scorecard 116, 112 or something like that. That was too close. Let's be honest. That, that was too close. But at least he had Shock winning. He had the right person winning. The other two judges, man, that's crazy, bro. So uh, ho hopefully uh, Shock petitions it. But even if he petitions it, he's not going to win it. You know, that, that rarely happens. So we'll see how it goes, man. Shout out to Oshiki Foster for being a stand-up dude and not complaining too much. You know, even though he should have. He should have been more vocal, in my opinion. But, yeah, man. And I like Robson Kaseisa. This is not against Robson Kaseisa. Fighters fight. Judges judge. We need to get better, more effective, more more competent, and more capable judges, man. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I appreciate y'all. And uh, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.